Let's talk about the search for power and what it's going to mean for Denji. With part 2 right around the corner, this is a plotline that is most likely going to be tackled within this part. So we know when a devil dies, they respawn in a cycle, switching between hell and earth. So power, since she died on earth, will now respawn somewhere in hell. This time as the blood devil, without her memories. Even though it is still the same being, it is a different person, because this person will lack the memories that power had. So when Denji finds the blood devil again, they will not know who Denji is, because it isn't power. This is somewhat tragic, as this is a person who Denji really cares for, yet they will not feel anything towards him. You know what, I, I was reading the beginning of this video on a script, right? But I feel like this is a video that I gotta go off script for, because this is going to be a very emotional scene for Denji. So I think if I'm going off the script, it's not going to sound emotional, okay? I need this to sound very emotional. This is a character that Denji has gotten close with, right? Even Makima said Power was your bratty little sister. That's how Denji saw her, right? And now that Power has died on Earth, she's going to respawn in Hell. However, it's not going to be Power because Power does not have the same memories, right? Even if he could get the Blood Devil back into the same body that Power had, it's still not going to be Power. Now, that's the closest this will get to Power, right? Get the Blood Devil, basically make him make the blood devil merge with the same body that power had on, if we still even have that same body which i don't think we do so yeah we're probably never gonna see power again it's probably going to be someone this is also tragic for us as readers because we've also grown attached to power you know power came first in the popularity poll right so it just shows how much people actually love this character so now that it's not even going to be power because it's it's most likely going to be someone else for example makima died came back as nayuta right now, Power as the Blood Fiend, we have actually haven't seen her in her devil form, so we don't even know what she looks like as a devil. We know that devils that look human are very friendly towards human, however, we don't know what Power looked like in her devil form. Well, I could guess it's probably similar to that form she had when she went up against Makima, however, we still don't know, right? So this person that Power is going to respawn into isn't going to look like Power, isn't going to be like power. Maybe the personality is the same, maybe, but it's not power, right? It's not gonna have the same. And when Denji realizes this, is when Denji realizes this, it's going to be very tragic for him. This is a scene that reminds me a lot of Berserk. If you've read Berserk, it remind this is very reminiscent of Guts and Casca. Casca lost her memories of Guts, and when Guts finally reunited with her, she couldn't even see him. So, it, like. I I don't know. It's almost, on, it's not on that level like that. That was really tragic. This is, but this is also tragic, right? I don't know why. I, I, I feel very, I feel very sorry for Denji. Like, it, depending on how Fujimoto handles this, this could be very, a, a very impactful scene, right? I could see this taking out, I could see this taking place and being a whole arc, like the search for power arc. That's why I'm titling this video, the search for power. I could see it being an arc and Denji like setting his mind on, you know, finding power. Somehow he gets to hell right I'm searching for power and then he finds her but it isn't her right and the face that denji will probably make the realization that denji's going to come to he he's probably already realized this that it's not going to be power when he sees her again so i just wonder how he's going to act so just the thought of that is very intriguing to me um you it's already going to be tragic even if it, even if denji somehow makes it a lighthearted moment it's still going to be very tragic just the essence of it right but yeah, this is one of the moments that I'm really excited for when it comes down to part two. A lot of people talk about seeing Nayuta grow up, seeing Denji go to school. For me, it's the search for power. Like I am excited for this specific plot line that has to be resolved still. So I'm wondering if Denji is going to pursue that heavily now, like knowing that power has also been reborn, is he going to start searching for her or is he just going to like live his life without searching for her and just waiting for the time where they basically come in contact. Hopefully he does put in some effort to search for her, uh, but we'll see how it ha what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for part two of Chainsaw Man. Like I am literally like in the past month since ever since I started rereading Chainsaw Man because I'm not caught up yet, but uh, like I'm on my reread and I'm all I'm already on like chapter like 86. So literally like 10 more chapters, 11 more chapters and I'll be done Chainsaw Man again. So yeah, it, it's a phenomenal read. Um, yeah. I love Chainsaw Man, bro. Like, I'm excited. For more anime content, if you want anime content directly into your feed, make sure you hit that big red button, the subscribe button, and also turn on that bell, because if you turn on that bell, it will notify you when I upload a video. By the way, guys, I was watching the Ben 10 Race to Time movie. I don't know if you guys remember that movie. It's like a very, very old movie. It's a movie that I remember from my childhood when I used to watch Cartoon Network. 
Um, and I watch it again, but it's not, it's not, it doesn't have the same feeling that it did back in the day. Like, go, okay, right now, go think of an old movie you can remember as a kid. Okay, a movie that you haven't seen in a long time. And a movie that you actually enjoy fondly, or you enjoyed fondly as a kid. And then I want you to go and retry watching that movie, just as a game. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be the same feeling. Like it's going to be such a different feeling because you've grown up. The things you like now are a lot different from when you were a kid. So, and the pacing, like, I don't know. A lot of time, kids stuff usually struggles with pacing for me. So yeah, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out everyone.